In this lecture, we are going to learn about another concept related to functions in JavaScript and that is called as function expression. So, unlike other programming languages, in JavaScript, a function is spatial type of value. And since a function is a spatial type of value, we can assign it to a variable. Just like how we can assign any value like string value, number value, boolean value to a variable. In the same way, we can also assign a function to a variable. And that is called as function expression. Let's try to understand it with an example. So in the last lecture, we learned that we create a function using function keyword followed by a name for the function. Right, then we use a set of parentheses where we can specify parameter list. And after that, we specify a set of curly braces where we write the body of the function. So for example, here, let's say we want to log a message in the console saying that good morning user, welcome back. Okay, so this is how we created function in our last lecture. And this syntax of creating the function is called as function declaration. Now, we can also create a function using function expression syntax. And in function expression syntax, what we do is we create a variable. Let's call this variable greetings. Okay, and to this, we assign a function. For that, again, we use function keyword. But this time, we don't specify a name for the function. Instead, after the function keyword, we specify a parenthesis where we can specify the parameter list. And immediately after that, we use a set of curly braces where we can write the logic for that function. So here also, I'm going to use the same function body. Okay, so here what we are doing is we are creating a function using function keyword and we are assigning that function to a variable. And this syntax is called as function expression. Okay, so there are two ways in which you can create a function in JavaScript using function declaration and using function expression. In a function expression, we assign a function to a variable. And this is possible because in JavaScript, a function is nothing but a value. It is a spatial type of value in JavaScript. So let me comment this code, this function. And we are going to now work with this greetings functions, which we have created using function expression syntax. So here, this greetings function, it is going to store the definition of the function. If I go ahead and if I log this greetings variable, here, you see, I'm not calling the function. I have simply specified the name of the function, the name of this variable. So if I save the changes now, you will see that this variable, it is storing a function and this is the body of that function. So this greetings variable, it is storing a function. But after this variable, if I use a set of parentheses like this, that means what it is going to do is it is going to execute the function stored inside this greetings variable. So if I don't use this parenthesis, it is going to log the value stored in this greetings variable and this greetings variable is storing a function. And if I use a parenthesis after that variable name, it is going to execute that function which this greetings variable is storing. So if I save the changes now and if we execute this program, you will see good morning user welcome back logged. And after that, you will also see this undefined logged. Now, why is that? That's because from the previous lecture, if you remember, this function is not returning any value. So when a function does not return any value, by default, undefined gets returned. And that's why this undefined is logged. So basically, when we have called this function, this console.log function will log the value which this greetings function will return. But this greetings function is not returning any value explicitly. So undefined will be returned and that has been logged here. All right. Now, as we learned in JavaScript, a function is nothing but a value. So here, what we are doing is we are assigning this function to this greetings variable. Now, if we want, we can pass this value from this greetings variable to another variable. So for example, let me go ahead and let me create another variable X. And to this variable, I want to assign the value stored in this greetings variable. So that is also possible. Now, what this greetings variable is storing, it is storing this function. So that function will now get assigned to this variable x. So here I can also go ahead and I can call x. So this x also is going to store the same function. So when I'm using a set of parentheses after that x, it is going to execute that function. If I save the changes, you will see the same result. Now, keep in mind that when we define a function using function declaration syntax, we don't need to end it with a semicolon like this. This is not required. That's because this function declaration, it is basically a code block. 
it is not a statement it is a code block but this function expression it is a statement because here we are assigning a value to a variable so it is a statement and as we have learned earlier in our previous lectures a statement must end with a semicolon if we don't end it with a semicolon it is not going to throw any error but we must end it with a semicolon in order to avoid any unexpected result but that is not required for function declaration syntax because as i mentioned a function declaration is basically a code block it does not need to end with a semicolon but function expression since we are doing an assignment here it is a statement and a statement must end with a semicolon now just like how we can specify a parameter for function declaration in the same way we can also specify parameters for function expression so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to specify a name and time of day parameter and we want to use these parameter inside this function body so first of all i will change this function a little bit i'll create a variable i'll call it message and here i'm going to use back text and they will say good and then i'm going to use the time of day parameter for that i'm using template literal syntax and in template literal syntax we use dollar after that we use a set of curly braces and in the curly braces we write any javascript expression we want to execute here i want to use time of day variable so that i will use and after this i also want to use this name parameter so again i'll use dollar curly braces and in there i'll specify the name of the variable which is name and after that we also want to say welcome back all right now here instead of logging this string value i'm going to log the message variable so let's save the changes and now when we are calling this greetings function here we need to pass the value for name and time of day so here we have assigned this greetings to this variable x and when we are going to call this variable x since it is also storing this function this function will be called and when we are calling this function we need to pass the value for name so here i will pass john and we also need to pass the value for time of day parameter so i'll pass morning okay let's save the changes and now you'll see it says good morning john welcome back so in this way we can also specify the parameter for the function expression okay now this function it is not returning any value but we can also return a value from function expression so let me go ahead and let me create another variable let's call it addition to that again i'm going to assign a function for that i need to use function keyword followed by a set of parentheses here when we use function expression we don't specify a name after the function keyword we directly use the set of parentheses and after that we use a set of curly braces inside which we write our function body and this function also it is going to take two parameters let's specify that it should be num1 and num2 and from within this we simply want to return the sum of num1 and num2 so keep in mind that all the concepts which we learned about functions using function declaration syntax it also holds true for function expression syntax the only difference is that in function expression syntax we assign a function to a variable other than that almost everything is same between function declaration and function expression there are few differences which we will talk about so the first difference we talked about is a function expression must end with a semicolon but that is not true for function declaration and there is also another difference which i'll talk about in a bit but this is how you can return a value from function expression so now when we will call this addition function let's pass the value for num1 and num2 maybe 10 and 25 now this addition function it is going to return us a value right so let's say we want to log that value in the console for that i'll say console.log and whatever value this addition function will return we want to log it in the console if i save the changes you will see 25 is logged and actually it should be num1 plus num2 let's save the changes now and it should log 35 okay now as i mentioned most of the things between function declaration and function expression syntax is same there are few differences so the first difference is function expression must end with a semicolon because 
it is a statement it is not a code block it is a statement and a statement must end with a semicolon and the second difference is when you declare a function like this using function declaration syntax you can call it before it is declared so let me call it as greetings1 and let's call this function as greetings2 so this greetings1 function we have created using function declaration syntax if i want i can call this greetings1 function before it is declared like this okay and here we have changed this function to greetings2 so let's call it greetings2 so now if i save the changes you'll see that we don't have any error and here we are able to call this greetings1 function before it is declared so this is possible with function declaration as you can see this message is logged at line number 450 so basically at this line so this will be executed when we are calling this greetings1 function but that is not possible with function expression if i try to call greetings2 before it is declared at this line if i save the changes you will see that we have an error cannot access greetings2 before initialization so this is another difference between function declaration and function expression you can call a function created using function declaration before it is declared but you cannot call a function created using function expression syntax before it is declared all right so again we will learn more about function expression syntax as we move along in this course for now this is all you need to know about function expression Keep in mind that we can create a function in JavaScript using function declaration syntax, which is this syntax, and using function expression syntax, where we assign a function to a variable. And both works almost in the same way. There are few differences which we just talked about, but in most cases, both function declaration and function expression works in the same way. And in the coming lectures, we will also learn when to use function declaration and when to use function expression. So for now, let's stick with the basic concepts and in the future, we will understand when to use one over the other. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.